And then you ring it after you do radiation. So you ring twice because each thing is a separate thing. My aunt from the church, she had, she always had silver gray hair. Yeah. That was my aunt. She passed so a year before last. Okay. Yeah, I um, remember something. Yeah, and it seeing... went to her brain. I don't know if it was. I know my aunt, aunt had breasts, and I'm not sure. I think whatever cancer my aunt had, it ended up affecting her brain. Mm -hmm. And she didn't last long at all. Maybe like a year. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on the aggressiveness of the cancer. Uh, mine was pretty aggressive when it was diagnosed. Um, and the way they knew it was aggressive was that um, I had my mammogram, my yearly mammogram, okay. and they saw um, a solid mass. It was 2.5 centimeters. And they said, okay, Ms. Rowe, we need you to go and have a biopsy done. So we did the biopsy a week later and it had grown a half a centimeter. Wow. So that told them that it was aggressive. Um, one of the most aggressive forms that, you know, a woman could get in breast cancer. And so from there, everything just kind of went like on a roller coaster. Right. It was you like, know? we have to get you in Yeah, we got to get you Any decisions? All everything was bam, 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 boom. So you really didn't have a lot of time to process or think about it. Or even the, cry. But God is good because when I went to the, the one, when the doctor called me, I was dealing with some other family issues. Right. Um, I have a sibling that's uh, been sick and wow. her husband ended up having a, a stroke and he's quadriplegic. So I had all of this going on at the same time that I actually got my diagnosis. My doctor had called me on the phone. I was actually at a doctor's appointment with my sister when I got the phone call. Wow. And I was like, um, can you give me 30 minutes? And she was like, Miss Rowe, you do know that I'm on vacation. And I told you I would call you. Oh. I was like, um, yes, I know, but just, just you know, that keep yeah. your faith. Yeah, exactly. And I didn't yes. want my sisters and them to know because they were right there with me yeah. at the time. And I was like, I'll call, you know, just give me 30 minutes. Girl, I beat it around that beltway and got in this house and Bishop was here. And I just fell right there in his arms. I was like, this right here. I, because I had just come through two major back surgeries. You did. I yeah. had two major back surgeries, and I was just really getting back, getting back. Oh, up that hit. I got that hit. Wow. And everybody was like, "First, you got cancer." It's kind of like okay, like because even when my aunt passed, it's like okay, God, like somebody else. Not that you want to wish anything right. on just anybody you just else's didn't family. Want to be it's yours. like 
we've been going like back to back with death. Yes. And this cancer thing, you like, you giving it to, I mean, well, not God is giving, but I'm just saying, I just feel like it's in everything. I feel like sometimes the doctors give it to you. I just feel like it's in everything. And it's just like good people. Mm -hmm. Not that you want the bad where I, I, I got a list to go out of here. The naughty or the nice. <laughs> but it's like, like you, why first? Yeah, and why? and 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 that was like everybody's um, response was like, "What you you?" And you know, I guess because that I preach, you yep. know, I teach, I walk in faith. Yep. But you know that your faith have to be tested, like everybody. You else. don't do it. You don't drink. You don't smoke. <laughs> healthy. You know. Um, radiation was the hardest part for me. I did eight rounds of chemo. It was supposed to be eighteen. So I saw God working in there. Um, but they told me I have to do thirty-three rounds of radiation. Large. What kind of, 33, rounds? 33 rounds and you had to go Monday through Friday and my fifth week into radiation they had to take me off for two and a half weeks I got what they called a third degree radiation burn okay now no okay this is yeah. kind of ridiculous I, what the heck is that I know I, I knew I was burning I you you because with radiation you see yourself trained you, you know you see your skin getting darker um, from the treatments that they give me even though you lay on the machine it take you longer to get there Get undressed, get positioned on the machine because they make a mold of you um, when they're getting ready to get you ready for radiation. And that mold stays with them the whole time you're going through radiation. So I was kind of like a contortionist in radiation. I had to be in a certain position every time. You was modeling. Okay. I had to, choose to, get I, I had to be in a certain up. position every time. And it took about 20 to 25 minutes to do the radiation. This big old machine, you inside of it, it's going around you, whatever. And you see your skin starting to turn colors, you know, where they're treating you. So it burnt me um, from my breast, my neck, and on the back, on my back. It was so raw and tender, I couldn't stand air to hit it. Wow. But I couldn't put a bra or anything else on. So um, I went through that, but it, the, the worst part of the radiation was when you stand in the shower after you've been burned like that and you see the skin peel off like a banana. Psychologically, I don't care how much faith you got. That's a mind blowing thing. Right there. I was like, why do I have to do that? I don't know. Well, I don't know. That healing can take place if you don't go through something. Wow. Yeah. You know, mental healing, physical healing, spiritual yeah. healing. Because we got to have a testimony. You got to okay. no have a test no, no testimony. testimony. So, you know, I, I said, God, I'll, I'll do this. Just help me to go through well and not to complain while I'm going through, but keep a smile on my face. And that's, that's where every day when I went, even though I didn't feel like it, I would post a picture of me smiling you because did. the devil did not get the victory. Yeah. You know, that was my biggest thing. I wanted somebody to know that you could go, go through, through it and you could still smile while you're mm -hmm. going through. You don't have to look defeated. Yeah. When I tell you, when you meet people that, you know, are in Christ and know God can heal and will do everything that he promised, you know, it gives you a little pick me up too, just to see that she's in good spirits makes my heart feel good and we actually talked about you know marcus marcus was a good friend and like a brother um and he passed away a couple of months ago you know you just reminded me of how when you were saying you didn't complain or it's not that you were you know like, okay god i don't know what's going on but that reminded me of marcus you know marcus yeah this past never complained. never complained never never complained i mean even you know there might be a status you know um and i think for a long time you know i think Scarborough for a long time i didn't even know we i did the prom get back i saw that this. and at that time after he put the status up and you know we had ended up talking because i was asking i was like you didn't tell me you know he said well that wasn't my place to to say right and then when i ended up talking to marcus and he was like remember that status yes. with his his um his testimony mm -hmm. he was saying that everybody was commenting he said you know what sis he said so many people comment that never talk to me mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. robbie ain't like me mm -hmm. you know i'm being no everybody you know you'll get all these you you'll get a like on a healthy pick like mm -hmm. you know and then when you get sick you ain't liking the health pick. right right but you liking the sick pick and you oh I'm, and i was like you're not you don't complain he's like no he said because i already know who has me That's never complain i used to be like oh my god and then we passed i think it hit everybody it did everybody because we went to easton together i know we went to easton together 
And then we had the reunion for the choir, and mm -hmm. Marcus could come. Who right. Was doing, you know, so. Well, you know, him and I, we were in treatment together. Really? Mm -hmm. we, were, we took treatment at Washington Hospital Center together. And um, wow. we, Carolyn and I, have worked together, oh God, for years at oh, State wow. Department. And I, I knew Marcus and them when they were wow. this, you know. And um, they used to actually call me Auntie. And so when he came out uh, getting his blood drawn or something that day, I said, hey, what you doing up here? And then, you know, we got to yeah. talking and he shared some of his story. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe that, you know, this is going on and his mom shared some more. And, you know, it was just, it was just one thing after another. And then when he, when he passed, that literally crushed something inside of me. I had so many people to start out with me in the journey, people that I had met along the way, um, in treatment, out of treatment, and to hear that some of them trans transition, it you can't help as but an individual that's going through a wonder, you know, why am I still here? You know. Yeah. But to God be the glory, glory. that I am, you know, and um, I need to make make it count. It's yeah. really, really sad and it brings tears to my eyes, but I know that he's in a better place. No more pain, no more hurt. He has a new body now. And we miss and we love you, Marcus. That one year under my belt, I want to try to do um, a Survivor's Gala Ball. Oh, that'd be Celebration good. Ball. And um, so next year in December, that's what I'm looking for. And I, of course, you know you got to come. And uh, be, yeah. You got to get this fabulous large beat. Yes. Look. Yes. <laughs> that'd be great. That'd be great. And to just give other people just a chance to be like, look, I made it. I'm still yes. here. Yes, come be dressed up. Enjoy. I, you know, I, I did a calendar shoot. Um, with Raw Beauty. Ooh, ooh, yes, I did a calendar shoot with them and that should come out um, in December, I think. December the 16th, it should launch. Glory. And everything that I do, I want to be able to please God yeah. in my works, you know. The cancer didn't have me, I had it. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. That's what I keep telling. It didn't have me, yeah. I had it. Yeah. And I still got that, the victory. Sometimes we pray for healing for people. Mm -hmm. and sometimes we don't even know that healing may be on the, the other, other side. side. Exactly. All right. All right, birds. Listen, I done cried, Lord. I'm all sensitive, God. Let's get this beat yeah, on. You're, so we you're can... trying to get myself to go. Let me fight back to you. Oh, God. Oh, you're such a blessing. I should not hey, hear you on the other side of the house. <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> Hi, Marcus! Hey, Tap. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Nothing. I haven't seen you since Kiss Lounge. It has been a minute. Yeah. Girl, that's crazy. Got that crazy situation. Shout. <laughs> I'm telling you no, 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 now. No, no. Hey, hey, hey. What I do, you're going to punch me now. No, 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 no. I don't have a fucking problem. Hey, what is going on? Yo, everybody know exactly what's wait, going on. Wait, wait, hold everybody on. know exactly what's going on. No, 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 no. He's been running his mouth, and now he's confronted, and he, now he's going to cover everything. What happened? I was like, oh. <laughs> Let me see. Like, I didn't know what was going to happen. That situation was absolutely crazy. Yeah, girl. Crazy, I, crazy. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> I saw your, um, that you posted your work. 
Oh, that looks that's... amazing from the photo shoot. How did that go on Sunday? Get my water real quick. Oh. Mm. Girl. Girl. Good or bad? Good thing it wasn't there because it was some shit that went down. What so happened? Mind you, it was only me, Byron, and Conja. Okay. Right? Okay. Ty, you know, Ty had the flu, so Ty ain't feeling too good. Yeah. So Ty was basically like, I ain't going to be there. Y'all hold it down for me. Okay. Plain and simple, right? Yeah. So initially, Byron got there before all of us. Okay. I ended up riding with Harley, and Byron started doing makeup. You know that's not how we how we really do things. You know we all start together basically as a team. Who gave him the okay? Nobody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so <laughs> one of the models was like, you know, Byron, the makeup that you did on such and such looked horrible. Because Wait, the model said that to yes, Byron? Yes. Oh. About another model's makeup because initially. We had, they had it lined up for certain models for us to do. Okay. So it was like, you took it upon yourself just to grab a face, and then not only did you grab a face, but you did it wrong. So homegirl was like, the shit was ugly. Oh. It's f like, it was hard. Like, she went in on this. The model did? The model. In front of everybody? In front of everybody. Oh, <laughs> shit. We go into. I don't know. The hair salon, this was at a hair salon. Okay. We was prepping the models before they went to go do their shoot. And Tanja was basically, like the the person that was over top of both of us as okay like the artistry and make sure everything was cool and fundamentals was in place cool well she was helping byron to make sure that he kind of was fixing and you know getting stuff right on the model face well <laughs> that didn't go too well because uh he it up again one brow was this small other brow oh was this my god oh the eyeshadow look was like a bronzy just highlighted glowy skin just like simple complexion but bronzy bronzy eye mm -hmm. he put pink on her leg i'm sorry what so now everything was just wrong so at this point maybe it's color I'm, I'm on my second model at this point tanja on her second model girl ty come walking through ty came girl ty came walking through the door i didn't even know ty was coming when I told you my jaw dropped, I was like, wait, hey, this girl. is sick. Girl, no makeup. Ty? No makeup. No makeup, girl. All she had on was a red lip. No makeup, red lip. Girl had on like army fatigue down. She was still matching to the T. Girl, sick as a dog. Oh, no. in I mean, you can hear it in her voice and it was in her body language. Sick as a dog. She walking, she said, hey, everybody, you know Ty. She's speaking to everybody, whatever the case may be. She me like, what about her? They go in the corner. Mind you, I'm still working on model number two. You you don't you hear them talking, but you don't really hear like a whole whole lot. Okay. Like a whole whole lot. And then <laughs> Chow, all of a sudden. They got into it. Screaming left. Oh! Time Byron? <laughs> yes. Girl screaming. Get the f out of here. Left and right. When I tell and I'm not talking about no like get back in my face. No, he was like. No, 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 you got me f***ed up. You is lying to me. Well, if, wait, 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 my friend? Yes. Like he was about to f***ing hit her. Harley, listen, Harley, listen, Harley, listen. Harley was pushing him back like, ho, ho, ho. Tanya got a whole makeup brush tag. A whole makeup brush. And she like, uh-uh, this is a woman. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? I miss this. What the hell? I was are you serious? Like, what the hell? Like, Wow, I wouldn't expect you to say that. I didn't girl, think that I was, was like a net. But girl, like I'm a girl, I seriously like. I was like, what the? F like, I'm holding my breast like. Was he about like? Was he like, about to hit her or something? Oh man! Like I thought he was really about to hit her. Hello there. Hi, this is Tanja, known as Faces by Tanja, and also as your silver fox. So what I'm going to do today is actually demonstrate how to create this look, which is a very colorful but blended look. Hello 
over there. Y'all walking on something? Yeah, I'm telling her what the hell happened with that damn. Uh, Come on over, shoot. Byron. What in the hell? Yeah. Nigga, I said I looked like you was about to hit Ty. That's what it oh, looked like. I, I, well, I don't hit ladies. I don't hit ladies. I was hoping so. I don't know her, baby. No know her. Yeah. I can scoot on down. Okay. So Nikki texted me and I didn't think nothing about it because, you know, I'm a nice person, so I'm going to go and see what she has to say. Wasn't doing, wasn't doing a lot that day, so I um, I went to the harbor to see what her and Emily wanted to share with me. Anyway, so... I wasn't about to hit time. But what was... So what happened before that well, whole, like, fiasco at the end? It was calm, and then... How y'all doing? Hey! I mean, it was calm, and then all of a sudden, she, she just came at me like I was like a pistol. I'm like, okay, I, I just wanted. What do you mean she? What do you mean she like? A fuck like how? Tanja came over, mm -hmm. and she critiqued uh, my work. When Ty came over, it was just so negative, and I'm like, Ty, all I wanted was I, I just had questions about an eyebrow. Tanja gave me her look. Ty gave me. her her look so I was kind of confused you know because I'm like so what brow do you want me to do because I mean is it a sharp brow is it a is it a natural had, brow but I I never in no way shape or form she sent the picture in the group message yes she did so, so I'm confused on how you didn't understand that part though I understood it but was it that and that's why I asked Tanja to help me okay and to like you know coach me because I you know I haven't done makeup in over three years Okay. You know, I'm I'm learning as I go, which is why I joined the group because I just I need help. That's all, you know. And I had no way to. I did not mean to come inside any way, shape, or form. I'm angry at her because of how she <laughs> disrespected me in front of everybody, and she kind of put me on the spot. But I mean, that's how she is. So no, I'm, just, I'm, 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 just, I'm just gonna have to live with that. You know? But what happened though? Like, what happened this between y'all two is, to get the way it got? This is my whole. So wait. I mean, before, she came up. at me. It wasn't my fault. I mean, she came at me like oh, a gun. I was like, oh my god. So I walked out. I was like, I'm done. I can't well, with you this. You the out because I don't got time for this. Causing the whole scene. I was like, girl, I, I would never hit a woman. I would never. Harley held me back because I turned around and I said, I said, what did you say? But I would never hit a woman. So if that accusation is against me, it's a lie because I would never hit her. I would never do that. If you a got, but listen, 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 to me, so no, but listen, listen to me. Listen, I'm listening. I'm listening. Just listen. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. The thing is, I think people have to understand what Ty. This is her brand. I think people keep forgetting <coughs> that she's not coming at you just to be <coughs> coming at people. If that was the case, she'd just be walking around being mad at people. It's the fact that she has put you, each and every one of us on a certain pedestal when she put you on the damn show. Right. Understand? <coughs> so when you're not delivering, and this is not the first time she got feedback about your artistry, it becomes like, God damn it, like what, what now? Like what, what do I need to fix now? Because as you can see, when we first got there, and we had our little powwow, the model, the homegirl with the with the mm -hmm. bob, she was pissed. Mm -hmm. Am I not? Am I wrong? She was pissed, right? You're right. So it's like, Ty feel like she shouldn't have to keep going back behind people, almost, and like having to correct artistry or worry about if the look gonna be executed. When she sent the picture, and she felt like it's something, it's a simplicity look that can be executed because the look was very simple. It was simple. It was. A, so it I don't was know a very how you look. was how you was having a hard time with that battle. Just the eyebrow. Just the eyebrows. I have. I, no, the skin wasn't right either because Ty oh, came and okay. fixed everything. Okay. And literally, when you left, the model was not pleased. She was like, mm -hmm. and homegirl who was in my chair, I don't know if you paid attention, but the second girl who was in my chair, she was the homegirl that you had mm -hmm. at Andy Fashion Week, the finale show. Yes. She said the same thing about y'all. She was like, the makeup just is not fit for him. Because I, I'm, I'm learning. I mean, I I have to refresh of my skills. It's just the fact that you know what? I need a refresher. I should not. I should have never been like thrown into the fire like I was. I need a refresher, which is why I'm around y'all because I need help. Like she's I expecting you to do makeup. Right. She's yeah. expecting you to know how to do even the basics. Even if right. you're not as good as she is, yeah. she's expecting you to at least know how to do the bit like the, the, the basic, a basic brow. A basic you, you understand what I mean? So if you have if you're a little 
little rusty because it's been three years. I mean, three years, if, if you don't do your craft in three years, yes, anybody is going to be rusty, but. A little bit, yeah. Can't blame her, but. That, yeah, that, I you're supposed to come in I there, especially with, you know, the event that happened, you were supposed to go in there and, and show out. It was, That wasn't the time to, act, to say, I needed and help. It didn't, from my, like, from my angle and a lot of other ladies, granted, if you wasn't about to hit her or not, it just looked hella bad. So you was, like, like in her face? I wasn't in her face. No. The same thing that happened to the Cambria Suisse, they tried to do again. I called them, <laughs> I called them the minions because anything, that she said, they do. And I'm like, I refuse to be that minion. I refuse to be that one that's gonna be a puppet, a marionette. I'm not that. I'm a real person and, I, and I'm a person with a real backbone. I'm not finished talking though. Okay, but please, okay. That's the reason why she, she's acting like that towards you, Byron. It's because she felt like you, you, was, you, was, being, you was being sneaky. Sneaky, you was, throwing, you was throwing shade at everybody and Mr. Spoon on Emily at, uh, at the love. Like okay. she just felt like she felt like basically she know how to be. She can be cordial with you, but she like why? Why should I feel like I should help him again? Or why should I trust him? She, she, she doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. She, she, she doesn't have to. Man, she don't care to at this point. I don't. I don't care as well. She I really don't care. Like point. Because if you're gonna have that attitude when I just told you what she did to me and you're still on her side. Oh, hold on. First of all, now, wait, wait. I didn't say I was on anybody's side. What's so, right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And that's how I ride. Did she or did she not? I wasn't right there when she called you gay. Okay, well, she did. And I'm sure other people heard it too. I, um, I actually have people in there who hit me up on Instagram, you know, you know, <laughs> seeing if I was okay because she said some really harmful things to me. And, and for me to be all cordial and nice and not walk out, I'm not going. I'm not going to sit in a place where the negative cloud is raining over. I'm not. I can't. I can't do negative well. I don't do negative well. And it was negative. It was so peaceful. But when she walked in, it was just negative. And I'm like, girl, calm down. All I asked you was one thing. She snatched the brush out of my hand. Snatched my brush out of my hand. Used my product. And I'm not supposed to be angry when somebody totally disrespects a person like that. When I'm helping you for free? Well, I mean, I didn't get anything out of that conversation. Like, why was I there? It was a waste of my time. It, it was a waste of my life. And life is precious. She said it in front of everybody and calling me, you know, am I a deacon? No, I'm not a deacon. I am a minister. It's a difference. She, she doesn't even know my life. And then, and, and they're gonna say I lied about, okay, and then, no, can I finish, please? And then she lied about my, well, I wanna learn about makeup. No, 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 I wanna no, learn no. about, because I wanted to learn and and be around people in the industry to get back in the industry. But y'all so negative, I, I mean, what the hell do I wanna be? I can stay at my office job oh, I just and, en negative. and enjoy my coworkers. I, I see the negativity all in everybody and you, and you all hold on to shit so much that you didn't have to let, I've let it go. Like I've, I, I've prayed about it, I've talked to God about it, I've let it go. You need to let it go, cause it's, I don't it's. I do shit, but stay black and white. That's the only thing I More power to you, more power to you. So, so what I wanted else is to going know on? The, the, so you I wanted to. You up and you gonna come in front of my face like that. What else is going oh on, Nikki? Oh my God. I mean, oh, Emily, I'm sorry, Emily. What else is going on? What, what, what else is going on? What? You know, for you for, for a tie to say funny. those you, things, you know what, Emily? What else is going on? You know he needs help. <laughs> I need yeah. help. I'm, you seriously need help. What do you mean I need help? You you are Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hat, and I swear I will live by that when it comes. You need help, like seriously. I need help. Need Why is that? Help. All y'all need help. I'ma pray for you. I'ma I'm pray, pray for you. you. Since you supposed to be a deacon a minister, but I'ma pray for you. you. Just remain you on your click. Help. Just remain on the click. Just remain on the click. Just help. remain on the click. And I will. It's Enjoy. not my fault. It's an outsider. It's, it's, not, okay. it's, not my Girl, it's okay. It's, it's not okay. It's okay. Listen, listen, it's okay. listen, listen. Listen, y'all. We could really it's sit down okay. and have a conversation. You're harboring some, you're okay. harboring some hate, and it's I don't okay. really give oh, a care. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. I know more about you than you think. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen, listen. And do not even listen.
got a call and it was definitely to come and meet Byron to have a chat with him. I had not seen him in a while as well because I've been busy, you know, working, doing my thing and what have you. Hey, what's up Byron? What's going on? Hey, how are you? How you been? Good, I've been good. Good. Hanging in there. Hanging in there? So we saw off the conversation, you know, like him to turn it nice and easy. But of course, it had to get a little rough at the end. But um, I bought the mouse. Okay. I mean, hey, <laughs> I always look good. Let's just be clear. Um, Literally, from like what's been going on. I think I haven't seen you since you guys did a. You guys uh, had like a. If it was Maserati, I hope it just you know all those things and stuff was going on. What well, like, I didn't. I didn't really um, care too much for the the Maserati event because Ty just straight disrespected me in front of everybody. Like it would just be whole entire act of her snatching a makeup brush out my hand and yelling at me, then saying, you know, she's a nice person. And I'm like, nice people don't do these things to right. people who 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 is on your team. Right. People it was it was kind of heartbreaking because like everybody was in there and it was very you know Embarrassment is a choice, and at that moment, I chose to be embarrassed, but I got over it and lived on with my life. But you will not get me down. You will not bring me down. I'm a much better person about being in this group. It's been a great experience, but unfortunately, I'm done. The total buckets around. I'm like, I came there on my day off right. to do makeup. Right. And she said that the look I did, it wasn't the look. And I'm like, right. Tanja came and assisted me. So I was kind of confused because right. Ty had one look. Then Tanja came over and had a different look. So I was kind of stuck in between. Like, what do I do? Right. I mean, I was there to just, you know, well, the only reason why I'm on this team because I, I have been out of the business for like three years. Right. So I just, I, I just came to learn. And, it's, right. and it seemed like everybody is like, has turned their back on me but I'm, I mean I'm you know I'm I'm open and willing to learn from anybody right including you right that already let me know um sir ma'am whoever you want to be today it must be an issue so he claim that's not what happened so I actually um met up with Ty and Tanja and Emily and we had did a, a, um, an event um in DC um that we were booked for it was a pretty big a pretty big deal mm. and um we had a conversation and this Maserati event came up and from my understanding from what was told to me on and how they said their story was like yeah first of all let me say that you know yes Tanja's a part of the group um but this is not Tanja's group so when it, when you know in any type of situation you walk in especially dealing with like you know teams on beauty anywhere if that other makeup artist is doing something different, let them do something different. Mm -hmm. If the director or the key mm -hmm. artist gave you a look, follow exactly what they said. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. at the end of the day, like that, it becomes a situation because it's like, now you've covered your ass right. because you've covered what they say. Let right. the other makeup artists do what they do. Don't be confused about anything that anyone else does because it becomes like, it becomes a situation on your end. Right. Um, so that's number one, I wanted to address that. Secondly, um, they were saying that you came in and you didn't know how to execute the look properly, mm -hmm. um, which is why you know Tanja came over to try to help you. Yeah. And I guess in the middle of her helping you, you were, I guess, a little agitated. Like the, how you like came back off, like your energy was like a little agitated, and that made and she was just like, okay. No, 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 not when Tanja came up, when Ty came right from her bed right to but, the location. Right, but sit, right. And she was very irritated with that. And then I thought it was just so negative. Right. You know, her approaching me. Right. I'm a grown man. Right, right, so right. Like, you know, and I wasn't mean. I wasn't like, but when she came at me wrong, right. the wrong way, I got I got mad. Right. And I retaliated because, right. like, you don't come to a person like that and expect me to be like, oh, well, no, I'm going to retaliate. Like, right. I mean, because it's. It's just me. And you claim you're a nice person and a Christian woman, mm -hmm. but you don't treat people like that. Well, you let me just say, well, well, let me just say, let me just know? say that she's definitely, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 
I know I, I I know I know you. We haven't worked together, but I know you. Yeah. But I've I know Ty and I've also worked with her. Yeah. And I'm gonna say that I know for a fact that she's definitely a nice person. And I know that yeah, she's a Christian she woman, but yeah. but you just came and you said that she wasn't. My thing about it is it's like first of all she's sick and the reason why she had to get out of her sick bed to come over there because you weren't following directions. And that became an issue on her part because at the end of the day, like this is Ty's team and we're a representation of her and she was on the team because she knew that we had the experience to handle whatever it is, whatever the job may be, whatever description was inside the title. Right. However, when she has to, she's like sick and she has to get out of the bed to come over and correct something that, that another team member was doing, it becomes a problem because now it's her name on the line. And you have to be like, you, you have to know like anywhere you go, like you're, you're first of all, you're representing yourself mm -hmm. and you're representing someone else. And it's extremely important that no matter what, that's exactly what it is. I don't think that she, I'm gonna tell you, I don't think that she came in abruptly being mean because she's not that type of person right. like she may have been a little irritated because she had to get out of her sick bed which I would be too yeah. but I, coming over and snatching something out of your hand you should already know how to do something you know what I mean from my understanding the look the makeup that you performed and executed was not good and people complain not only from like our team but outside of that Everyone knows Ty is a sweetheart. Yes, she got her ways for sure. It's everybody, but she's definitely a sweetheart. However, when you claim someone is a gay basher, that's serious. When you are claiming that someone is being mean to you in front of other people, that means they're demeaning your character in front of other people. That, hello, is serious. Number okay. two, um, I have an issue because this was this is something that really bothered me um, that you came and said that she was gay bashing. And let me tell you something, yeah. that is very, that is a very, very serious accusation. And well, for you, for, she did. but Byron, she Byron, she Byron, 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 let me explain something to yeah. you. Ty is okay. not the type to oh. gay bash because first and foremost, most of her friends are gay, let's just be clear. Secondly, why would she gay bash if the, everybody, the majority of people that's on her team, especially the guys, are all gay? The people that she hang around are also homosexual. You know, gay bashing is a very, but gay, look, she she's not going to gay bash, Byron. She's not going to gay bash. I heard her say, first, she talked about my speech. Okay. She talked about me being yes. gay. Yeah. And she talked about a outfit I had on. But how was that gay bashing? Because I, I need to know the exact word. She said, she, she called me gay. And I was like, you don't. But how did she say it? Because you're not telling me the piece about the gay bashing. What she said. Negative. And What's very negative? What was word for word? What was verbatim? Because gay bashing is very serious. And for a person that yeah. is, you know, that's very supportive as she is, okay. to come out and say gay bashing, that's strong. That's like saying that you are racist and you hate white people. You understand what I'm saying? I, that's serious. I know what I heard. And I'm not... Well, but you, can't re but you can't repeat what you heard. He could not get his damn story together because he was... Too stuttering the whole damn fucking time and that was irritating and I could not take it so then it started getting me upset because I knew he was lying like completely full-fledged largely lying to the lamb in front of his face I wasn't having it so I definitely started getting a little upset that's what I need to know because that's very strong you know what I mean I, I don't think you understand the term gay bash and maybe you heard gay inside of a sentence possibly Possibly, well, but I don't think she I gay think bashed back. you. I think back. She called me gay. Okay, okay well you need it's to. Not bashing. She she called me gay. She talked about my speech. Okay. And she also talked about an outfit I had on mm -hmm. at an event. Right. The three things she did, and, and what I did, mm -hmm. I walked out uh -huh. and I said. <laughs> Toodles, I'm done. Right. Because like that's so disrespectful. Like I came there to help out, and you totally disrespect me and embarrass me in front of everybody. Yes, yes, she called me gay, and she did. And I take ownership, in, and I did remember, and I do remember saying that that she was gay bashing. But I take that back, and you know I do apologize. In that instance, you know of accusing her of saying that she never said that. But she did call me gay. At the end of the day, yes, you're representing yourself, but you're also representing her, and it's her name at the end of the day. And no matter what goes on, if you are a man, which you say you are, 
then you should have came to her um, on an adult level and brought her to the side and told her exactly how you feel. For you to give that attitude. And then I also heard, hold on, I also heard that you tried to fight her. She is a woman. I don't try to fight her. Okay. But I heard that from, I heard the entire team told me that. The entire team, including Harley. Harley had to pull her away. So let me tell you something. She jumped at me. So she she jumped to fight me. First of all, Byron, why would she try to fight you? Why would she try to fight you? Let me tell you something. If she tried to fight you from jump initiation, she would have came in off of X, Y, and Z and just went straight at it and with hand because she's that type of woman. You're not going to play with her. But for you to try to fight, put your hands on a woman or even have the motion or notion of. I would never put my hands on a woman. She jumped at me and that's when I walked out. Wait, 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 you got me, you got me, you got me. Up. But you have. You got me messed up. Regardless, you got me real messed up. You got me messed up. You got me real messed up. My mothers and my aunt told me right to never hit a woman. So I walked out. You can ask Harley. I walked out of the salon. Mm -hmm. I was there and I walked out. So I'm not gonna. I'm, I would never hit a woman. So okay. I don't know where that accusation came from. Where um, it came from, all of them, and they told me the her. exact same story. So why would I do that when all those people are in there who are on her back? Well, the same way that she, the same the way, back. the same way that she came so, in and said something to you, and then you lashed out, her, lashed out at her in I front of everybody. Out. Yeah. I just walked out. <laughs> Bye. Byron. 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 Stop. You say that people are kind of secluding you from the group or whatever the case may be, but honestly speaking, like, I really feel like you try to create your own little group inside of the group. When it came to, like, the Emily and um, my other boo, Nikki, you know what I mean? Like, it, it seemed like you were trying to create this little situation. Even when we had that little um, event at the salon, mm -hmm. like, you were being very disrespectful, you know what I mean? Like, first you started grabbing people's things that weren't yours, you were, you know, you didn't ask, you just reached over and grabbed stuff, and that's happened more than one time, and oh, especially, um, we bought those little wine, little wine chillers, I and, had. no, you didn't ask, Byron, okay. Byron. no, you didn't, I okay. was there, I'm telling you. <laughs> But it's like in a situation you're a crying victim, but you're really not the victim. You're the person that continues to keep throwing stones, but then when the stones come back at you, you then try to shy away. Not really. The, you have. Girl, you have. But Jamil, I can afford a bottle, a wine cooler, a little small wine cooler. I can afford. I don't need to steal anything. You called. You you said I was thieving, which is a hefty ac accusation. I wouldn't do that. And I, I've never stole anything in my life. And then on top of that, you were talking about how I, you know, how I called you fake and phony. Yes, you were being fake and phony towards me. And I'm supposed to be your family? Like, who does that? Yes, we're cousins by, we're cousins by marriage um, through my little brother. And that's cool and all, you know what I mean? And I, I don't have a problem with that. However, you know, it came back to me that you said something about me being a fake and phony cousin and I'm not helping you and I don't do this and I don't do that. I you're grown pause. You're that. you're a grown ass man. And you and you've head. been doing makeup long enough where I don't need to help you do anything. You decided to step out of the game, that's on you. But I'm not gonna just stick my neck out and try to help you for anything when we don't even talk. We have no conversation. Yeah. So at the end of the day, fake and phony, never that. Okay. I'm never that. So for the fact that you go and you say that to them really pissed me the f off. I'm not the type, point and period. If I have something to say to you, I'm gonna come. Who told everybody? Emily, Nikki, um, okay. yeah, all of them. Tanja, everybody came back and said this is what and you I said did. about me. I said to Mel. About me. Yes, you said I'm a Jamil, fake and phony cousin. Even, well, fake and phony Jamil, how though? We don't even talk. We man. don't. You're absolutely so right. Why, you agree with so me. Why so why would you call me fake and phony? I'm not, I wouldn't be. 
You're not you 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 can't even be in my circle. But my thing about it is how could you how could you ever point like pretty call me fake and phony when we don't even talk? I don't recall you, calling you fake. You don't have to recall, but that's what you said, Byron. Like let's let's be a man and be for real about it. If I'm okay. dressing, I'm bringing it to the table. Okay. Don't f fucking say something. You know you said something and then back away from it. If you call me fake and phony, cool. But be a motherfucking man about it and say exactly what you said. He comes to me and he says, you know. Um, I never said that. Pretty much what was said was, I'm, I'm a fake person. I didn't help him as his cousin and doing what he's supposed to do in makeup artistry. First of all, so let's be loud and clear about it. First and foremost, be clarity. You did makeup at the Macy's Mac downtown. You could not do any makeup, which is why you're not there any longer. You stopped practicing because you could never, ever, 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 ever do it. So that's probably why you're not in the group anymore. I'm gonna let you know from jump, okay. you know what I mean? And, and, and if it's up to me, like you will never work in the city. And I will make sure of that. So don't ever call me fake and phony and you can't back it up because when you don't have your receipts, I'm gonna prove and show to you. You know, we go back a long way, Jamel. I remember when you basically were at the Mac Pentagon working there with a full beach face, too much going on. I was one of the people who assisted, you know, you in getting your career going long before you're just Jamel. Sir, let's be clear. And I'm gonna give you a clap, one, two, because that's not a tree you wanna climb. Let me get that. Okay. The next thing I wanna address you about is you come in and saying something about my brother Orlando and saying to him how at the end of the day, um, or, or Orlando's, um, you don't want anybody to know that you're gay because you're a deacon in the church and all this kind of shit. What is that? Orlando? What yeah, you came and say that you don't even know Orlando. He doesn't even address you. Point blank and period. He doesn't no. speak to you. He doesn't look your direction. No. So don't put his name in your mouth, period. That's my brother. That's one of my best friends. And at the end of the day, so how did he come and because, he said, because he said that you, that you saw him in the club and you don't want to speak to him and because you're a deacon in the senator in the church and all this, whatever the Said. I know for a fact that you're not anyone's deacon in anybody's church. And for you to sit there okay. and say that you're not gay, okay. first and foremost, let's be very that. clear. I never said I but, never but, said but that. By way, out of, ever, out of all, never, all the okay. accusations, you keep saying that you never said that. But when the people get in front of you, then you say, oh, 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 and you want to come in and come. No, you, you not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. My point is, point, point, point blank and period, is keep Orlando's name out your mouth. I will. Don't say anything else about Orlando. Don't mention his word. name because guess what? He's not even having a thought or inkling about you. He will completely obliterate you with one smack. Stop it, Mr. Motherfucking Ed. Please. Not the tree you want to climb. And that's when I got pissed off. You're not going to sit in my face and continuously lie about bullshit. Are you a deacon? Are you a pastor? Are you a bishop? Are you an apostle? Who are you? You said that you got a CD out with a group. Where is it? I've never seen it. It's never on Amazon, iTunes, uh, Tidal, any of those places. So what are you? Who are you? What are you doing? I don't know. The door's closed. The, the door's been closed. Okay. The door's been closed because it was clo it was never open for it to okay, close. Okay, okay. So don't, Beautiful. period. Okay. Don't don't address him. Okay. Don't say nothing about him, point blank I and won't. period. I will say a word. So, you okay. know, and then this is you about, oh, you're trying to find your father and you're trying to find your mother and you're well, lost in the word, the standard third X, Y, and Z. No, Byron, it's, it's, it's Byron, say that Byron, 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 come on now. Come, really. Now let's be, no. now let's, now let's have some, be clarity on the table. Be real. Yeah. We're actually having, um, dinner tonight. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't know where, where that's coming from, but. I reconnect with, with my mom okay. and my father. Okay. Literally. Because they've never been in your life. You've never seen them. You've never and met out. them. In and out. Oh, okay. So what's your what's your definition of reconnect? Because well, I, having, from what I know and that I do know, um, they've been there. They. They've been there. Has been there. They they they've been around enough for you well, no, to you for you well, to. No, for my them. aunt has been there. Uh, my aunt raised me. Your aunt may have raised you, but, but your parents have been there. Been, my, my, Jamel, my parents have not. My father has never been there. He might have. When I was small, but not. Okay, not so Byron. Never been oh, there. Byron, and I'm going to so tell I, you this. I figure how, how do you know that when you. I mean. I mean, clearly we just said. Clearly, I just said that we are family by marriage, so why would I not know that? My father and my father. Jamel, when you don't know, don't share anything about my life that you don't have the full facts about. First of all, 
you're on the Ginyard side. I'm on the fog side and the lane side. You're on my aunt side. So therefore, how you know that I do have a mother and a father, Christopher Howard and Sherry Falk. You know my aunt Pat, not my mother and my father. So before you lie about me and spread rumors about, spread rumors about me, get your back straight. Because it's, you know, you, you really have no idea. Yards. But if and you're gonna have, get your story aunt. straight. Get your story straight. Get your, get your stories straight. Lane. Get your stories not straight. Because lane. right now, at the, <laughs> as do everybody. But get your story straight. My because story your straight. your story is not straight. Okay. Your story is not straight. Okay. Your story is not straight. Okay. But I, I just really believe like you should keep that personal business on your personal side. Don't bring that to the group because what you bring, your drama that you bring to the group, make people feel a certain type of way about you. And when they find out that you're a liar which you are okay. it comes to a point where people don't want to be around you which is why you're fired from the group that okay. and that becomes a problem and I'm pissed about it because at the end of the day you know what I mean you say that you're my family my family don't do this we're not we're not the type and for you to come in and given that no you've contradicted yourself a many a time okay. you've lied a many a time okay. you try to accuse someone of something that you don't know nothing about you don't even know the definition of or know how to speak about it uh, don't if you don't know the situation don't speak on it period okay. keep your okay. mouth shut before someone okay. shuts it for you retire the brushes with your tired ass and continue to keep moving you are nothing you will never ever work in the city so stop so byron toodaloo i wish you well in raking grass and cleaning dishes but don't come to the makeup world any longer because you're not accepted. Okay, sweetie? Nothing, I mean, nothing that you say oh is going to well. prove a point to anything. Oh well, so it's you are, it's you okay. are. It's because there's no way that you could be a makeup artist and not know how to do makeup. Okay. Learn the basics first and then say you're a makeup artist. Go be an assistant first. Fine. Go be an assistant first okay. and then come and join that. Okay. Throw darts and throw daggers at me, perfectly fine. I will live, hopefully you live too. And I'm done. So, I mean, at I'm this point, I, yeah, you're dismissed. Because okay. at this point, I said what I said. I and, which, and what you have to say has, has nothing to do with anything. So, it go ahead and storm off and enjoy the rest of your day with your long lost mother that you haven't had seen in years. Oh, you haven't no. talked to her in oh, years. No, honey. Have a great day. Oh, no, honey. Have a great I day. Have a great you day. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Late ass. I just don't understand. I really don't. Alright, so I had to meet up with my boy Orlando, you know what I mean? I haven't seen him in so long, first and foremost. He had been styling, traveling, doing his thing, you know. What we do. However, I really needed to talk to him about a lot of stuff that went down that was really like bugging me. Give your call back, okay? Orlando! Hey, what? Whoa! Hey. Hi! How you know, are you? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, that's my boy Queen. What's up, Quill? I see you over there working and stuff. Look, child, we need to have a conversation. About what? All right, so first off, of course, Byron, girl, him, that it, you know, the bishop, apostle, deaconess, whatever, trustee, whoever he want to be this week. I don't know. Well, I want to start off with Byron. Because this is like the second time I'm here. Okay, so him yeah. not wanting to meet you because he's a deacon, pastor, bishop, apostle, leader, somebody in somebody's church, and he know you know him, and he don't want everybody to know that he's um, a homosexual. I'm gonna be political about the situation, and I was like, deacon, bishop, pastor. Yeah, remember? Okay, so remember we were at Ty's party. Her birthday party and book signing. Press. And he, oh, the, the guy. He, yeah. um, he's the one that asked me about my jacket. Right. I remember. Yes yes, yes. yes. But he was pressed about him. You know, he wanted to get something made by you, and he was like, "It doesn't matter about money and stuff like that." Yes, when he ain't got no money. Yes. Yeah. Um, him. He, he was pretty much throwing shade, and that's how the words came out. Like he was throwing a situation shade. Situation like me and him had a situation. Like he doesn't want everybody to know that he's gay, and then you saw him in a gay club, and then you pretty much out him. Is I what he's saying. Never met him a day. I don't know this bishop, deacon, queen. This is what I was trying to say. Byron, you tried to be shady towards my boy Orlando and try to put this whole situation in like as if you're, as if the people don't know who you are. Everyone knows you're a full large homosexual. Point blank in a period. Is he a, like, is he a part of you guys' team? Is he a makeup artist? He's not a makeup artist. Ty brought him on. 
You know what I mean? And I, listen, Ty brought him to the team, and I was cool with it because is again, is he a makeup artist? If that's what they want to say, allegedly. Ale- boom, to the TS, allegedly. Uh-huh. I don't know. Uh-huh. I mean, the work that I've seen, I don't really see it. Okay, so, okay. so what that have to do with me? it had to do a lot with you because he brought your name wow. about you pretty much outing him about being a homosexual because he's in the church. So that kind of made me feel a certain type of way, and I didn't like that. And so, of course, I confronted him and I told him, like, first and foremost, let's just be clear, that's my friend, and I'm more than 120% sure that he would never run in the circle that you're even close I'm to. I'm so confused. I've never met this man on and ever the, in my life. Period. I don't know him. Yeah, I know you don't. I know you I don't. I don't know. Him. I know you. And you seen Orlando in the club, and you don't want nobody to know about him and this and the third. No, first and foremost, sir, everybody knows about it. Okay, leave his name out of it, and that's what I had to bring up. So me and Orlando talked about that. Orlando was heated because he was like, "Wait, man, I still don't know who the f- you talking about." Maybe I need to pray for him. Yeah. <laughs> I either I pay for him or he can get the other thing. Yeah, well. The other thing is the ass whooping. See, and guess I what? I don't want to do that. I, but I'm on that side. You know why? Because I'm sick of it. But let me bring up this other T. This is a little more serious. So, of course, you know the whole me, you, and Stefan situation, how that went down. <laughs> Girl, I know. I'm tired of reliving it. But it's like, it just keeps coming up. So, we did this, make, uh, this Model Monday, um, and it was a su- successful event. Okay. However, um, Stefan was in town, and he comes and he approaches me, taps me on my shoulder. Here we go. Yes. Okay. So after he tapped me on my shoulder, I was looking around like, who is he speaking to? Because for me, be. like if you don't like a person, they come in like, like it was like that. It was aggressive and I wasn't feeling it. Okay. So after the whole situation happened, I walked outside, we started a conversation. He gets into, straight into, first of all, let's just be clear that I moved in on you and him. Can now. I just stop you? I w- and I want to let you know that Stefan and I mm-hmm. did have a conversation. Okay, so when did y'all have a conversation? Because that's well, a few gonna... weeks ago. We we did have a conversation, and um, because it had been months that we actually been talking. You know what I'm saying? Me and you, you know, finished rekindling our situation, and unfortunately, me and Stefan had our situation, so we had to re- re- rekindle, in a sense. Um, you know, just to kind of talk about things. And we were able to talk and say like, hey, I was wrong, you was wrong. And I, I mean, I was real with him and I let him know how I felt about everything. Um, I let him know how I felt about you and him. Um, it's unfortunate, but that this shit is still kind of going on. Well, I honestly felt like you could have at least told me, Orlando, that you had talked to him because I look kind of foolish. I'm gonna tell you why, because at the end of the day, when we are having this argument, okay. and me and Stefan never get along, you already know that. Okay, so that's fine. I can work with him all day, but I, we're not friends. But for that to happen, okay, we're in the middle of an argument, and Ty comes over to me and say, well, you and Stefan made, Orlando and Stefan made up. They already had a conversation, so what are you talking about? I look dumb. I look like, okay, what's going on? Because me and you are Okay, maybe ha- I should have told you, but I just felt like it wasn't something that was really planned for me and Stefan to really like talk. I, I really pulled up on him. Like I found out he was at the salon and I literally just went there and was like, we need to talk. Because like I said, it had been months that he was avoiding me, like not answering my calls, not answering my texts. So, so why was he not avoiding? I thought y'all was cool. No, we, me and Stefan hadn't talked since he moved to Vegas. Oh. We hadn't speaking at all. Like we were done. Like, and he was just like avoiding me. And I guess we just needed each other, like space from each other. Cause my thing is, I don't want this to co- continue happening where you guys are always bickering and fighting about the same thing. And this situation is so serious. Like the situation is very serious. And at the end of the day, like, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I've already kind of said what I needed to say about the situation. Um, I don't have no cut calls. I'm not hiding anything from anybody and I don't want anybody to feel a certain type of way. I'm not trying to out anybody about situation, but at the end of the day, when you have put something on my name and it becomes an so issue in the situation, so, like, so what now? I, I have a problem with my that. Thing is, I'm yeah. happy that me and Stefan are able to heal and talk. So what happened to what happens to the three of us? Like as far as me and him, there will never be. Okay. Now you guys can be friends all day long, all year long, all millennium long. That's fine. I think we all in a healing process. 
That's I'm healed. Now, yeah. I don't want to keep reliving the situation. However, it's just that we're running in the same circle. We're in this group together. And I don't mind. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, I'm professional when it comes to work. Let's just do it. You know what I mean? I don't care whether I like you or not, whether you like me or not. You However, just like it's just, just so when you don't know how to be mature, what you want me to do? What, what do you want me to do? In conclusion, I don't know that Byron Courtney. So you just go to Jess. Yeah, I don't know her. But look, okay. she tried to come for our girl. Ooh. Ty. Byron tried to come for Ty by saying shit like, oh, she's a gay bash. Yeah. Wait, oh, wait, she's, wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Wait, you, yeah. You're moving too fast. Okay. She, Ty Cobb, I would call yeah. her a gay basher and she's around gay people all day listen you know i'm a full law logic byron queen i don't know i'm sick of i want her to be i've already completely fired her out the group ty was like dead ass sick in the bed like dying like i was literally right after i had got sick and there was an event going on and clearly it was a situation where ty was getting phone calls from everybody else outside of the group about Byron, and she had to get up out of her bed, put a full large face, a full large brush to hair, a full large outfit, to, to, to try and assist him, and he was just giving too much. Oh. Harley had to step in between. Ty is our girl, like, and we're definitely not gonna go down for the get down with you being another man trying to come for her, whether you're a queen or not. Let's just be clear. I rumbles and bumbles with the best of them from South Beach, Subtown, whatever you want, it's just nothing. You know how my girls do. So I wasn't gonna let that go down for my girl Ty, so I had to bring that up. And of course, Orlando was on my side about that. He's still trying to figure out, well, who is this Queen Byron? Because I don't even know who the Queen is. Like, who is she? I don't know her. Well, get to know her because guess what? Guess what? Listen, she you know knows you. you. She might want a piece. You know what? I hate you. Uh -huh. With that being said. Are we gonna find these outfits? Thank you. Thank you. That's all I needed you to say. It's a wrap. Oh my God, I can't even believe it's, it's over. So I wanted to do something nice and get some crabs and some shrimp and just unwind with my crew. Honey, I got the ice, we got the drinks on deck, and you know, we're just coming and it's a, it's a beautiful day. Um, I brought my daughter too. Unfortunately, everybody isn't here, but you know what, I'm past that. And at this point, even if I don't have another crew because it's just not working out, Makeup artists can come together and get along. It's just a shame that sometimes we can't be on one accord and show up. I just thought it'd be nice for us to just, you know, eat some crab, some crab be down here, hang point, get some Jesus out the off ground. Was that Jesus that was in the ground? I was not Jesus. Oh, yeah, Lord, oh, that Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, that man. He's out of the harbor now. <laughs> but, you know, just to you thank you. over there too? Right, just to thank you all. all. So, <laughs> just to thank you all just for being very dedicated. You know, they are here today. Because you know that she knew that we were gonna uh, paint you, we were gonna mm -hmm. come here and eat. But she said she was going out of town, and Shonda said that she had an interview at twelve. I don't know what twelve had to do with twelve thirty. Oh, she had an interview. Today. But she said an interview. Then she said hair. And so I don't know. Nevertheless, I just want to thank you all. You know, Byron. He wasn't inviting Byron. You know, and what's crazy? I thought I had sent. What's crazy? I sent a DM, and I was like, you know, we're gonna go out to eat. You know what I mean? Because this is the thing. I don't want to be beefing with anybody. I had approached him outside of, you know, a Beauty Couture. Right. You know, and yeah, he was basically so saying, you know, like, oh, um, I'm sorry. No, you wasn't gay bashing me. And da da da. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Right. And I said, you know what? I literally could go ahead and get, and get this, you know, on film. You know what I mean? But I said, I'm going to come to you and we're going to talk about this outside. Let me check you real quick. Like, why would you say that? I just, you know, I just, I guess, I, I don't know. And oh, um, and then he said what? that Brian was lying. That he, Brian was lying about the whole lied thing. And you done lied. You lied on me. And now you're saying Brian lied when Brian is not lying. You did say all that stuff. Saying that I said that stuff about him. Now he's saying he's never said that. And Brian is lying. So I sent a text. I guess everybody around him just laughed. Right. <laughs> you know. So what did I say? I sent a DM. And I was just saying that we were all going to go out, you know, to eat, you know, crabs and things like that. Mm -hmm. And to just end peaceful. Mm -hmm. Right. So when you see that somebody is, now I didn't have to do that. That's kind of big of me to just mm -hmm. be like, you know yeah. what? You don't try to diminish my character, yeah. my name and all that. But I'm a show love. 
because people trusted that she would come, you know, within this group and be able to conduct herself exactly. as an artist. Regardless how long you have not been, you know, in the in the in the industry lately. Yeah. You know, we, we showed him love. And, and stop he saying turned, turned I'm right learning. Back around and, and just Exactly, like, exactly. Really just shitting on us pretty yeah. much. There was a lot of newbies on the season, so I was really, really interested to see how they felt about the season just like Ty was, because I know how I felt last year. It was something totally different. So, so I have to get some of that drink. <laughs> I just want to say, I think I want to celebrate you, Ty, because I think not oh, enough right, people celebration. know, and some people in the crew really understand the work that goes into all of this. I mean, you do like 500 things. I'll be trying to figure out when do she sleep? <laughs> because she's always on the move. And I think you need to be celebrated as an example of somebody who's chasing entrepreneurship. You know me, you know I'm trying to do my whole yeah. my and you're thing. doing it. I'm so I'm proud, proud of you with the your um your movement. I'm proud of you. Yeah. It's a lot of work. You know, all of us can be celebrated. It's a lot of work, but thank you. But I feel like you know. It, it takes a lot to deal with a lot of personalities. And I, I don't think a lot of people give you enough positive and genuine credit. Oh, because they want to think they know me. Yeah. And be like, oh, you know, and you don't. And it's like, you do a whole, you like a one woman show. <laughs> like you do a whole talk of still working. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's a lot that you do. And I think I just want to take the time to celebrate you with that. Yeah, that's a really good one. You're welcome. That's a really good trait to have. And that's why so many people, whether they envy you or not, they look up to you. Yeah. <laughs> Whether they doing it in an envious way or they doing it because they genuinely like yeah, it. They, they look up to me. So I just want to make it right. Thank you. Look, Nikki That's just went into what? She ain't turn me away, but I used to nag her all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, my at Bad Central. And I used to drill time, like, what I need to do? Like, and she never oh, wow. turned her back. Like, yeah. she will always give me some type of information. Like, never she was like, oh my God, this child is getting on my nerves. Like, she wants some action. But I guess she's seen how much drive and yeah. passion I had for the industry. Yeah, potential. Just a cute girl, I mean, pretty girl. Wanted to be an MUA <laughs> before she was doing makeup makeup. Oh, yeah. You know, so looking at her and look, and I said, and this is going into what I wanted to do here today if everyone was here. I wanted everyone to really go around the table and just say something nice about each other, especially the ones that didn't really get along. But again, everybody's yeah. not here. We pretty much got along, except for, you know, me and Emily had that little thing, but that squash, you know. Yeah, and I just thought it would be nice to uplift each other yeah. and say something nice about one another. But since, look, Nikki started it all, I am extremely proud of you. You went, I mean, from her coming to the counter and asking questions, and I, look, saw like my little baby <laughs> sister, my own child. You know, in her. Me. You know what I mean? And I guess for me, even with me not having kids, look, I'm mm -hmm. old enough to be all crazy with my kids or whatever. Say like that all. You know, I see <laughs> something like, in you. Know, and I'm, they can't when be I mad. say, you claim I'm, me on your taxes, bro. That's <laughs> a, I'm going to claim you on my taxes. Oh, you know what? I love Emily and Nikki. Nikki, I've known for a long time, and I see her growth so much in her makeup artistry. She's going to be one of those makeup artists you're going to have to watch out for. And it just shows that you can start out and really, really expand your craft. And I'm so very proud of her. Regardless of what dad or in it, because your mom is, you know, she like, yes, you know what I mean? Right. Exactly, right. you know? Right. But sometimes parents will be like, okay, I want you to go to college because they think that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. A lot of times, you have a, a lot of, really, a lot of times, college, honestly, people are saying, is it worth it based on Fuck you come no, out, not. you're yeah. coming out with, Student loans and things. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you're, you're a trade. Be forever that I, I mm. won't be it's done better. My damn student loans all time like fifty. You know what I mean? So I applaud and you. Ain't even doing shit with it. And just definitely, I mean, continue on. You know. Yeah. And one thing about it yeah. is, your dad will see that my baby girl is doing it. Everything yeah. that you're doing to empower other women. Um, what is it? Baddies, creative, creative baddies. baddies. I'm like, oh my god, Nikki is like my child. <laughs> I have snobs. And when you see someone right. doing something, it's like. That's my baby. And I love seeing young women wanting to give back to other women. But with her, she wants to give back to other makeup artists. Go ahead, Nikki. The Lord is really, really going to bless you with everything you're trying to do. Out of anything that you go through, something greater always comes. And you have your business now. You know, you went to Mag and you realized that was hell. And then, you know, you're on your own. And I just applaud you. I can't wait to see you what God has for you because you're growing and I just can't wait. And never ever let anyone tell you you can't do something. Let the haters hate.
Because right. if you don't have any, you ain't doing nothing. It's true. Mm -hmm. And you know we definitely look up to y'all, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, Tom just showed me a trick with, um, <laughs> I thought they were what? With, um, <laughs> I got some and that drink. shit has been working. I've been looking at people's contour when I've done my own place. And I told and you how to them. do them brows. In the brows, yes. Listen, mm -hmm. your brows have gotten much better. And I was like, Emily, uh, <laughs> do this. So, Emily, Emily, you have. And Emily, I see the growth in you too. You know, as a mom and as a makeup artist. And you're trying to practice patience with your attitude. Just always know, be slow to speak. You know, and battles that shouldn't be fought, just leave them alone, let God handle it. You know, I'm glad that even when we had our little thing, I want the beach with a belt. But I'm glad that you even, you know, we talked about some things that was going on. And I'm glad that, you know, Thank you for the prayer. Uh, absolutely. So I said a prayer for me, y'all, because I had, I was having some really bad thoughts, thoughts that I've never even had before. I don't know. With other people. My daughter's father, you know. And I, the only person I could think of, I was like, somebody, I gotta pray. Somebody need to pray because that was bad. That was bad energy. Uh -huh. And so I didn't even hesitate. So I was like, okay. And started praying for So me. ever since Ty gave me that second chance, it was like, better days came you know what i mean i feel like our relationship is so much better and i i honestly feel that ty knows that my intentions are not bad and i'm so thankful that she was able to like really see that i am a good person yes i'm a little rough around the edges i know but in the same breath i'm still this warm bubbly kind-hearted person and i make mistakes and i'm here to learn as much as i can tanja you're my girl and we're still and always gonna rock together. Continue on, my sister, doing what you do. And listen, the old makeup artists, that don't mean we're old, that means we're experienced and a full extra large, so keep on. Jamel, so crazy. Who would have thought that we would have actually started to get close? I've learned from last season never to just not like someone because someone else doesn't like them. But you know what? Continue on, but I hope you learned a couple of things, you know, a friendship, work because you're a great artist. And anytime, you know, someone is accusing you of something, if you know you didn't do it, speak up. Cause you don't even have to do that. You're an amazing artist and an amazing person. Stefan, you already know, we're freaking frack and I am so happy to have you in this crew. I'm glad that God is blessing you in Vegas and continue on killing the runway and the makeup artistry business. Shonda and Pink, I wish you nothing but the best. Continue on, you know, doing what you're doing. I wish that things could have been different, but you know what? Things happen. As for me, what I've learned, I think to not always trust everyone because they seem so sweet, but to definitely watch my back. Byron, I'm praying for you, and even though you acted the full extra large in this season. One thing about it, because I'm in church and I love the Lord, he's working on me. But I pray that everything that you desire, you get. And even the help that you should get and find love and acceptance, I'm praying for that too. I'm really being nice. All right, and for me, I'm on to creating more things. <laughs> but anyway, Listen, pull up your crab. I will have nothing to drink. I got this ice. <laughs> Listen, Probably got a fly. Listen, I'm hold the crab. I love y'all. I'm so glad y'all was in the crew. The whole rap. You too, girl. Yeah. Okay. Boom, 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 boom.